uh, from Meals Our Kids Love. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. If you've been following the website, you'll know that every week we do um, a review section called The Friday Dish, and that's where we review lots of products that we love, or things like cookbooks, recipes, gadgets, anything that we really, really love during the week, and it goes in The Friday Dish. Uh, this week, I've got so many products that I thought it would be a really good idea to do a live broadcast, and so I can do a bit of a show and tell. Meals Our Kids Love does have affiliate links and that means on some, but not all of the products, um, if you go to our website and click on the link, uh, Meals Our Kids Love um, might earn a small commission just on a few of the products and again if you know us and if you know the website, you know we only review products we really, really love and want to tell you about and want to share with you. Right, should we get started? We've got a lot to get through. The first item, I love this, this is called Fill and Squeeze. I'm going to just pop it in front of the camera and squeeze and this I saw at the um, baby show a couple of weeks ago um, and I know that baby pouches are quite popular uh, for feeding kids um, you know on the go and what this product does I mean it means you can make your own baby food your homemade baby food and put it in a pouch um, let me show you what's in the box so if you really want your baby to eat homemade food you can um, put it into a pouch and obviously take it with you in your baby bag or your handbag or whatever. So I'm going to give you a quick demo, but without any baby food, because this is one of the items in the prize and um, I, don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. I'm not going to take these things out of the bag because they are sterilised. Um, anyway, so here we have the cup and you can mix your baby food in there and you can use this to mash it up. You can then also attach this to the end, you fit it on there, and this then becomes a plunger. So what you do, you take one of your pouches and you unscrew this last bit, this little bit here, and you attach your pouch there, and you put your food in there, use the plunger, and you push it down, and that will fill up your pouch. Now these pouches are all sterilised, um, they're microwave, freezer and bottle warmer safe, um, so they can be reused and they can be reused again. So unlike the products you put, um, you can buy from the shops, you can reuse these again, you don't need to throw them away after the first go. Um, you wash them in hot water, don't put them in the dishwasher, and if you go to the Fill and Squeeze website you'll find lots of details of how to wash them, how to use them, and what they can be used for. Um, perfect for homemade baby food. Um, older kids would be great for smoothies or yogurt. And um, I saw on the website a lovely idea of putting porridge in them. So if you're in a rush in the morning and you want to get your kid off to school, fill those with porridge and they can have their breakfast before they, before they get to school. So that's a lovely, lovely product. Um, let me tell you how much it is. It's £19.99. Um, from the Fill and Squeeze website, but it's also available at Argos and Tesco and John Lewis, I believe, um, and Mothercare and a few others. And it's also available internationally, so um, do go to the website fillandsqueeze.co.uk and you can find all the details there. And if you go to our Friday dish, you'll also find all the details and some links to click on, which will take you to the Fill and Squeeze website. So that's a fantastic product. I love that. If you look at the testimonials on the website, a lot of what you'll see is a lot of the mums will say, I thought this was a bit of a gimmick, but actually it turned out to be really, really useful and I wish I'd known about it earlier. So I think that's definitely one to put in the cupboard um, if you're going through the weaning process. Um, I think I've covered everything with that one. So that's one of the prizes you can win. The second item, I actually haven't got it with me, but it's on the uh, Friday Dish website. And it's also from Fill and Squeeze, and it's the um, Super Squeezy Spoon, the Squeezy Spoon. And what that does is you can attach that to, it's a spoon that fits on the end of, a, of the pouch. So you can attach it to any pouch, like Ella's Kitchen or Cowan Gate, or whatever it may be, you just attach it. And um, what I love about the spoon is that you can um, rest it on the table and the end doesn't touch the table surface, so it keeps it nice and clean. So that's also in the, um, the 
bunch of goodies that you can win today or until Monday. The competition closes on Monday at six. Um, the spoon is £4.50, I believe. Um, so that's Fill and Squeeze. Uh, Fill and Squeeze was developed by a mum, Rifat, Rifat Jan, and um, when she was going through the weaning process, she found it tricky to be able to manage homemade baby food on the go. And uh, she went through a series of trial and errors. If you, if you look on the website, you'll see she went through all kinds of things using syringes before she finally came up with this product. So we love that. Right, moving on swiftly to our next product, which I really, really love this. I love this product. This is called Dinner Winner. I don't know if you can see that. And um, this is from a company called Fred, who are based in the US. And um, if you are, this is obviously for older children, but if you are wrestling with getting your kids to eat, or their veg, or five a day, or you're just having trouble getting them to eat full stop. Um, this is a lovely, lovely idea. So you start. So I guess if you were feeding lunch, you could do chicken or ham, and maybe a bit of pasta, and then some veg. And at the end, you can put um, your little treat. Your little treat goes in the end there. Um, I guess you could put like um, you could put uh, non-food items like stickers. So you could have a bit of a sticker chart going on. And um, obviously it's quite small. And so I think this would be suitable for uh, maybe two till five or six years old. Uh, maybe not for older children, but it's made of really, really good hard uh, melamine that you can put in the microwave or the dishwasher. So really, really like that. That's um, available in the UK from a company called Cubit. They're the UK distributor and they have a website called Magpie. Um, again, details on our website, you can have a look there. And that on the website, I think is, on their website is 18 pounds, uh, which is a lot actually for one plate. But I think that you'll get quite a lot of usage out of that plate, and quite a lot of value. Um, I've also seen it on Amazon for about 13 pounds and on eBay for nine pounds. So it's definitely worth having a look and looking around for that. And um, also by Fred is this really, really lovely product, product called Mr. Food Face. Um, so again, it's all about getting kids to play with their food. And um, you can see that you can make a hat out of peas or beard out gravy. They've got all kinds of lovely ideas on the back there. I particularly like this guy, Blonde Bombshell. He reminds me of Keith Lemon. <laughs> with that hair. Um, the only thing about this plate, although I really, really love it, they also do a Mrs. Food Face, by the way, and you can do put earrings on her. She has slightly more luscious lips. Um, the only thing about this is it's made from ceramic and it's quite heavy. So um, there is a danger that that might not last. Um, and they do say on the box, don't put it, it is dishwasher safe, but they do recommend that you wash it by hand. So that might be one that's for a special treat rather than um, something you use every day. But I do like it. I do like the concept of getting your kids to play around with their food so that they um, uh, obviously, you know, it becomes more of a fun experience rather than a stressful one. Um, let's have a look. That one is £10.60 on Amazon. Um, I got this from my local shop for £9.99. So again, Quite a bit of money for one plate but it might make a nice gift and if you're going to use it over and over again then I think that ends up being quite good value in the end. The other thing about getting kids to play with their food is or to be a bit more creative with their food is they're more likely to eat it and so you're less likely to need to throw it away and hopefully save a bit of money that way. Um, the last product that um, we saw at the BBC Good Food Show um, was this and it's um, Quite interesting it's a jelly juice so it's a juice and it's also a snack and um, it was created by two dads um, so dadpreneurs rather than mumpreneurs who um, were trying to find a healthy snack for their kids and they came up with this now it's just um, juice water and a vegetarian gelling agent called gel and gum um, so those are the ingredients in it. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about gel and gum because it was a new one on me and I had to Google it. But there are about, let's have a look, 
7.2 grams of sugar in this, which is less than a teaspoon. And I've had a look at other um, juices on the market and they're, this is so much lower than what you can get in terms of juice cartons. So the thing about this is that gel and gum has dietary fiber in it. And that means it's, um, it can, it, you know, provides a little bit more sustenance than just a juice. So keep tummies a little bit fuller than a regular drink. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's quite an unusual texture. Can you hear me? Do you see this? So it's obviously you wouldn't, wouldn't pour it into a cup. <laughs> there you go. Now it's, so it's, I don't know if you can see that. It's quite an unusual texture. Um, gel and gum, or naturelli, has been approved by schools, um, so it can be put in lunch boxes. It's also been approved by the Celiac Society and the Vegetarian Society um, because the gel and gum is a vegetarian gelling agent. Um, um, and um, it's got vitamin A, C and E in it, I believe. So it's, uh, you know, obviously got a seal of approval from um, Schools Council, Vegetarian Society and Celiac, Celiac Society. Um, it comes in, let's have a look, three flavours, I believe. There's tropical fruit, um, summer fruit, and I haven't got the other one, it's apple and blackberry. Um, but they do taste, what I like about them is they don't taste too sweet. They are, um, actually I'm going to try one. <laughs> it's quite different to drinking a normal juice. But my kids, my kids love this. My daughter, she's a very harsh critic and she gave it an eight and a half out of ten. Um, my son, who's a teenager, although it's not really designed for teenagers, um, he really liked it and um, he, he's asked if he can have some more. So what I like about it, as I said, is it's not too sweet and it, um, um, I could definitely see myself putting that in my kids' lunch boxes. Or also good for maybe um, sports activities because it's quite hydrating and it's also um, slightly filling. It gives more nutrition than your average drink, as I said. Um, at the moment, it's a new product, so I think it would be launched in September. And at the moment, it's available at Whole Foods in London. But um, apparently, the brothers have got a deal with Boots, so it's going to be in Boots in January. Um, and you can also buy it from their website. Um, it is, let me get the prices right. I think, actually, I haven't got the prices, but they're on the website if you go to uh, mealsarkidslove.com Friday dish. Um, so that's naturally. So do go to the website and do check it out. Um, I hope that was all very interesting. That was uh, the Friday dish on Frisco. <laughs>